Good morning, welcome to a new weekly vlog, which I think might be the most exciting one I've done yet. I mean, I've been excited to film this weekly vlog for about two weeks now, so yeah. I'm just going to tell you because it's in the title anyway. The trip that I was talking about in last week's vlog, if you haven't seen it, will be up in the cards for you. I'm going to Chester on Wednesday and I'm going to Chester for an interview at the Uni of Chester. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm just going to say for now because I'm actually absolutely terrified about it. Um, so we're just going to not focus on that right now because I've got a load of lectures to do. I've got an hour till my first lecture of the week and I've not done the pre-work for it as in last week's work. There's only two bits left and it's like 20 minutes so it should be fine. And then I've got that lecture and then I've got to go to town because I don't own a coat and it keeps raining. Like, I don't own a hooded coat so I need to go buy a coat. Um, and then I've got like a group meeting today and then I've got a lecture and I've got to do the work for that lecture. So it's all a bit of a chaotic day so I should probably go and not film but yeah I just want to tell you that I'm going to Chester on Wednesday for a uni interview which is absolutely bonkers. Um, so yeah, I'll explain more about it later in the vlog, but yay! Um, I'm gonna go make some coffee because your gal needs it. So I've realised I haven't really updated you. I have just panicked a lot this evening and today. Um, I went to town with my housemate, we went to the shops, we had a cute little, I'll put a thing on the screen of what we did. We had like a little Valentine's cookie and tea together, which was really nice because she's got a boyfriend now, so heartbroken, no, I'm joking. But that was really lovely and then I've kind of just panicked didn't go to my lecture but I did do my team's call for my group project and then I've been making a quiz because I'm not me personally but my society is hosting a quiz night Friday so I'm making the quiz and it's for LGBT plus history month so yeah that's kind of cool I'll show you a little bit and I've just got, my, got a pizza for myself spending val valentine's day actually really excited like this is the first year really weirdly like wait like normally I'm just like the biggest valentine's scrooge which to be fair I still am I just think it's pointless but you know you do you booze um I just don't like it never have never probably will but I'm just like I just don't like I'm really happy that everyone's happy in their loved up relationships but I don't want that right now and I'm thriving with it like I've got Chester I've got a new job I've got like obviously I haven't got Chester but I've got Chester to potentially look forward to so I'm just like I don't really care um so yeah there's my little valentine's chimwag i'm gonna tuck into this bad boy and watch some gilmore girls because if that is not like the epitome of a valentine's day show i'm gonna go might catch you tomorrow might catch you later who knows okay so good morning it is tuesday my glasses are absolutely rotten it's currently like 10 to 10 i slept horrendously again because i'm so stressed about tomorrow but tomorrow's the day i go to chester which is so weird because this i mean to be fair i got the what i think i got into fight invited to the interview like two weeks ago um so it's all quite recent um so i've got a lot to do for that so i've got my morning coffee my caramel latte it's just a caramel coffee so if you want my very simple caramel recipe caramel coffee recipe do let me know because i could do it on tiktok or something which i do post more on now and you actually get like more of the tea so the stuff like chester will be up there first kind of thing so the plan for today i'm already boiling alive um is to do some work I've got I can't decide whether to write up the notes or to do other lectures and I think I'm gonna do other lectures because I can do writing up of notes tomorrow um on the train because I've got like six hours traveling um I've also got a social tonight which I'm not going to go to for very long I just have to go and do track and trace and then I can leave basically um but I'll stay for a bit longer I'll probably stay till like 10 and then come home and sleep potentially I don't know I don't even know I'm gonna sleep like my train's at 7 30 in the morning so I've got to get up at like at least 6 30 if not earlier um but i'm going to try and have everything sorted tonight so the only thing i need to get up and do is hair and makeup so yeah i'm gonna go i don't think there's gonna be like loads today i feel like the most majority of this vlog is gonna be chester tomorrow so that is exciting so i'd rather like leave it short anyway this is a really long clip so hopefully i've cut it down so I just wanted to show you guys my quiz because <laughs> I'm very proud of it. So we basically, wait, let me just explain the situation. Oh, I really hope you can't hear the horrible ringing that is coming from my ring light when it's turned on right now. I've done all my sin, I'll figure it out later. But basically we got an email like as a society, like well, the society's got the email and there was like a grant available for like, it was an LGBT plus, Q plus, whichever way around you say it, um, grant for 
the history month so we were like oh basically you can apply for a grant of i don't i think you could ask for anything um to host an event and basically like barely anyone applied for it so we were like great let's apply for it my social sex literally do an incredible job of hosting socials all the time so i said i was like i don't mind helping run it or plan it or at least do something to help because it was something i was really eager to do um so i'm really excited so i've made this quiz and i think i think it's kind of groovy so it's like we're gonna do some fundraising there are some really nice prizes it's just kind of chill us in the student union um and i can show you it because it'll have happened already when you see the vlog so i can show you the answers and stuff. okay so i can't actually show you the answers and stuff because storm eunice meant that the uni was shut on friday which i'll talk about i don't know if i talk about it later in the vlog but yeah it meant that the quiz has been postponed so it'll be on probably next month now but yeah i just thought i would let you know that that's why i'm not showing it so yeah i've kind of done it so each round is like a different color of the rainbow so there's the music round and basically we're just going to say the lyrics so we're not going to play the song because i feel like that would be too easy and we've got an lgbt plus history then we've round. got an abba slash abba round because we live in aberystwyth then we've got general knowledge which i am just doing now so that's all my rounds i'm very excited um i don't know if i'm going to be doing the like reading or anything um, we haven't decided that yet but I've done the writing so you know hopefully people will enjoy it and there's some really cool prizes so yeah so I'm all ready now and I'm deaf I'm just gonna go to therapy and I will try and catch you afterwards but I can feel I can feel that this is gonna be a bad one guys I can feel it brewing good morning it is currently quarter past seven in the morning I don't know the last time I was up this early unless I haven't slept and like actually go up but like hair makeup is my outfit I'll try to show you better later but i'm off to chester uni like um so yeah i'll just catch you when i'm on the train so i've just got to chester it's just gone like 20 past 11 or something and my interview is until half past so i'm not gonna like sit up until half past i've got two hours to explain. sorry i stopped vlogging there was a person and i got weird um so i'm gonna head to the cathedral because i think that's where everything is centrally and also I really want to see it. So I thought I'll head there first and then I'm gonna go find some for lunch. So I'm starving. I had like, I didn't film in Shrewsbury because it was all just a little bit chaotic. It wasn't really, but I ordered a flat white. Didn't realize they're all tiny. So I spent three pound 85 on the tiniest coffee in the world. Um, yeah, I'm wearing this skirt today and I'm just pulling it down every two seconds. So that's fun, but yeah, I'll update you when I get to the cathedral bit. And oh my god, I'm so hungry. So I'm just at the cathedral. Look how beautiful this is. You can't see properly. It's honestly like so beautiful. It's like I'm here. I'm literally, I'm just wandering. I don't know where I am. Don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having a good time. And I'm like, I could live here. Literally within six months, I could end up living here. That is ridiculous. Not six, is it? A bit more than that, like seven. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm good to go. So I'm just in Pret and we've got a meatless meatball, rice bowl and a chocolate cookie. So I'm going to enjoy my lunch while my phone charges and I'm dying. So it's quite early but I'm walking to the campus now. So I'll have like 15 minutes or something when I get there just so I can have a little explore and figure where the hell I'm going. Because it's me, I will get lost. Um, so yeah, I just like get there just in case like phone dies or anything. And I know that I've got their safety and stuff. So yeah, it's really nice walking here. Um, I'll show you wherever I am. This is my current view. So the walk is really nice so far. Um, I don't have a clue where I am, but I'm going the right way apparently. Um, so yeah, I will show you what I can on the campus, but I'm so nervous that I don't know how much I'm actually going to film because I've got to sort my appearance out because the wind has swept all of my hair off my face um, and my skirt keeps riding up. So it's not looking great, but we'll give it a go and I will update you whenever I can. Right, so it's like... 5 to 11. I've been home for a little bit. I was talking to my flat mates, but I've just had a parcel and I think it's from a company that I'm working with on Instagram. So I thought I'd show you. Um, I don't think it's got to be up until next week so I can take some pictures, but it's quite a cool one. So these are what I'm like selling, not that sell you know, like posting about. I don't know if they see. Oh, the packaging's really cute. I don't want to open them now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So they're little pumps. They would have, these would have been so helpful today. Apparently, they're really good for walking in. So I need to go on a walk in them to check, obviously. Because if they're not, then... Yeah. They smell very new. Yeah, there's just two in there, obviously. 
they're just black little like pencils actually i think these would be really handy especially if i do get onto the course like they're a good little business shoe staple aren't they but then i basically said to them i was like oh will it be paid and they went no but if you just do that one post we'll give you another pair of shoes for free so i was like well this type of shoe is a shoe i have wanted for a long time so i was like well that is worth me getting them i think the shoes are like 90 pounds um these ones anyway the ones i picked because of course your girl's got expensive taste okay they're glittery i did not believe that they were glittery interesting they might be okay anyway, those are the shoes they're from Vivea. they'll be on my instagram I didn't tell you because I bumped in. I'll talk to you while I'm doing this actually. I bumped into a friend when I got to Shrewsbury and um, we went for a pint, which made me very ill. Cider does not sit well with my stomach. Um, and then we got back just in time for the train that was not existing anymore. So we had to get a bus back to Abba um, when I was feeling sick because I'd had a cider because I realised I can't drink cider anymore. Um, but it was good, because at least I was with a friend, so that was quite handy. So, yeah, it was fun. And I've just seen my flat mates. Um, don't even know what we spoke about, because I'm very tired. And I'm ready to get my jammies and go to bed. But knowing me, I will not sleep. Right, I'm gonna go now. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, gang. You girls are a very happy girl today. Like, you know, right, I'm going to sit and have a little chin wag. So, if you have seen, I've quite literally just finished filming my um, reaction to first semester results. And I don't know how, but I did very well. If you haven't seen it, it'll be up in the cards for you because... Yeah, I've my family are very happy, which is nice. Oh yeah, I said in that video, my dad's reaction was this. Um, put a screenshot on the screen there. Um, and then after yesterday, so basically the the update with the Chester interview. I don't know what I told you yesterday. I don't. Yesterday is all very much a blur to me right now because it was all so surreal. Um, so I don't know what I've told you. I don't know what I filmed. I'll just know when I edit it. But basically. We kind of sat there and I was like, look, how many have applied? How many are you giving your place to? She was like, we give 20, 20 people. And she said they had a lot of interest because it's the only course in the country like this. Um, so if I, didn't, I don't think I've even specified what the course is. It's a two year fashion communication marketing with social media degree. Um, so you do it in two years, six modules across the whole thing. And it's like that. Um, so that's the course the course sounds phenomenal they mark you like some of the submissions are through youtube videos and tiktoks like it's surreal and towards the end she was like i can't tell you if you've got a place you'll find out in two weeks but and was like grinning at me so i was like okay i'm not gonna get my hopes too high but it's looking good and now that i know that past first semester i know that i am now gonna be leaving abba um it won't be till september time so i've still got a while here obviously i've got the new job and stuff um but yeah like surreal so surreal my life right now it's not like 100 percent confirmed so i'm not going to tell like i'm saying i'm not going to tell everybody but there's this vlog um but it's not like confirmed confirmed so don't take this as oh she's definitely going but until i get that offer it's not confirmed confirmed because i'm not trying to get ahead of myself because i know that i will run away with it and get too excited and then get let down so i'd rather do that like my little it's very purple but yeah i had the best day in chester yesterday i got so emotional i've cried so much i've just cried on the internet you will see if you see the video but yeah i just wanted to come on and just say like i'm just very grateful for my life right now and this is not a situation i ever thought i would be in my goals thing on my board is one is working because <laughs> one of them is that i will get an average of two one and my average at the minute let's do that let's do the math my average is 70 exactly. So I'm averaging a first right now, which is ridiculous. 
the year. I'm going to go and actually try to do some uni work because now I'm very motivated to do the same again this semester, which is nice. So I'll catch you later in the day. I'm just going to crack on today, I think. Good morning. It's Friday and it's that storm Eunice thingy. Is that what it's called? Um, so, so the uni shut today, which is quite good. I, gosh, I haven't been to anything all week. Um, but that's fine. I can catch up. So today's very exciting because our big 24 hour spa is reopening. So me and my husband are going to go to that in a minute. Um, it reopens at nine and the first hundred customers get free goodie bag. So we're just going for that, um, and to see it. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that and then I'm going to go to the new job and drop off my documents. And I've got to collect some raffle prizes because next week is actually really exciting. Um, my society is doing rag week, so we're fundraising all week. And we've got this massive raffle. One of the girls has done an incredible job and sourced so many prizes. Um, and then I've got a meeting with my tutor at half ten, so I've got to be back for that. So it's all a bit chaotic, but it should be fine. I've also got a too good to go bag for the end of the vlog because we ordered from the vegan deli again. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and I got my housemate to get one as well because he really wanted to try the deli. So we got the last two. So that's this evening's plans. But yeah. Right. So I've just come back from town and Storm Eunice has meant that my too good to go bag place is shut today. But spa reopening being one of the first hundred customers got me a free goodie bag. So I thought I'd do a little haul. Um, it was all free. Um, I'll tell you what I did pay for because you had to pay for something. So I've got burger bites, never had them. Onion rings, excited for these. Then, oh, just, everyone's gonna love this. Tea, I should have waited, I bought some the other day. Then, oh, rich tea biscuits. Then, two jars, I got a strawberry jam and a marmalade. And then they gave us, oh, the thing I bought, I just bought microwave rice because I know I'll eat that um, and then they give you a little voucher as well and my voucher is for some free soup so all in all I think that was successful so I'm going to make some jam on toast now and have shall I have a cup of tea I may as well might not I? I promise that one day I will actually remember to end the weekly vlog during the week and not when I'm editing it about to upload but I really hope you did enjoy this weekly vlog if you did please smash it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I shall see you in my next video bye